What is up everybody? Jay Nell here with a long overdue minute movie review. And I'm back with Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For, directed by Frank Miller and Robert Rodriguez. And uh, this movie was so cool. It was so cool. If you like the first one like I did, you'll love the second one. The style is awesome. From the clothing, to the dialogue, to the narration, to the strategically placed color. Everything's so well thought out. Again, multiple stories, multiple villains, multiple protagonists. So you have to pay attention. Each character, each scene has a purpose. Each character means something. So get all your drinks and your uh, uh, snacks. Use the restroom before because you actually don't want to miss a minute of this movie because you need to pay attention. It is rated R, so there's gratuitous violence. There's gratuitous violence, but then there's also meaningful violence. Again, the dialogue, there's manipulative words and language and music. So it's just really well thought out. Too many celebrities to name some of the key actors. And of course, there's Josh Brolin, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Mickey Rourke, Rosario Dawson, and Ava Green. They all had fantastic performances. Uh, Jessica Alba, everyone looked amazing. Even when they're all beat up, everything looks amazing. From the fake backdrops to the real backdrops, just so well planned. I love it. Don't make me make five years for the next one. I'm pretty sure I went over a second. I got really excited the more I started talking about it. But yeah, boom, there's my movie review in a minute of Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For, directed by Frank Miller and Robert Rodriguez. Real quick, during the previews for this movie, I got some amazing news. As you know, Quentin Tarantino said that Django Unchained was going to be his last movie. In fact, before Django Unchained, he actually said he wasn't going to do any more movies, but then he got inspired. After Django, he said, no more movies, just maybe a miniseries. Uh, wrong again, Bob. I guess he got inspired again. I saw a very obscure preview for a movie called The Hateful Eight, and I'm so excited because I never name uh, number one favorite movies or number one favorite actors because there's just so many for me to pin it down to one. However, I do have one single solitary favorite director, and it is Mr. Quentin Tarantino, so I'm just really excited for that. All right, talk to me, <laughs> take care, and goodbye.